After today's dose of tech, stay tuned for an incredible call for my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. And this is a conversation you're not going to want to miss. Gear up with snacks, your favorite jersey, and maybe that Taylor Swift tee, because why not? This weekend, we're all about the big game. More than 38 million people will watch the Super Bowl this weekend. A lot of them don't have cable. Cord cutters, so how do you watch? Since CBS is broadcasting the game, sign up to watch it streaming on Paramount+. Plus. The subscription runs $5.99 a month. If you're not subscribed already, take advantage of Paramount's free trial. Then set a reminder to cancel it after the game. No Paramount? No problem. Grab a digital antenna to get the live broadcast over the air. Requires a one-time purchase of the antenna. A good one runs about 20 bucks. But after that, accessing your local CBS broadcast, including the Super Bowl, is free. Pro tip, before kickoff, switch your TV image settings to sports mode. This simple tweak can make every play and the halftime show pop. Give my new video stream about all things digital a try. You can find it at youtube.com slash Kim Commando. Here's an outstanding call for my weekend show. You're going to love it. Of course, my weekend show is called The Kim Commando Show. I know, some things in tech really make sense. Uh, Jim in Traverse City, Michigan. Hi there, Jim. Good afternoon. How are you, um, I'm, Kim? I'm good. Jim, what's going on? Great, great. Well, enjoy listening to the show and um, had an issue uh, come up um, that uh, we purchased a, a house, a second home, a vacation home, and I want to put some outside cameras up. Um, it'll also be a VRBO, so I don't want to make Can't put too many cameras up, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You know, I don't want it just strictly outside, but I do want to be able to pan them um, and from anywhere, you know, from through Wi Fi, um, be remote, and you know, so I can look down the driveway and see if the driveway needs the snow plow to come through or whatever, see if there's a car coming up, it might be motion activated. And I can, you know, just, um, I guess it should have some recording ability or something. So mm -hmm. I looked into this, started to open this can of worms, and I got it narrowed down to about 3,000 choices, you know, so it's ridiculous. There's a lot of <laughs> choices, know. aren't there? So In which which ones did you, which ones did you like? Well, there's one. Um, I don't have the name in front of me. It's A. You search A U. Um, I'm not, but but I can just go over the features. That okay, I all right, like. do that. Do it that. That's fine. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. I first thought, okay, I have this work in the uh, Google Home app, so I don't know if they all work in the Google Home or app, and you do that or you. Well, have most to of have most of them have app. most of them have their own app. They do. So Your whichever one that you're going okay. to go to, they have their own app, whether it's Google okay. or it's like with Nest, for example, it would be Google Nest or the Home app. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Anchor has its own. Um, let's see, Radon has its own. I mean, just they all have their apps. But, so what exactly are you looking for? Um, I, I, my biggest thing is to actually just have to be able to monitor it, look at it and see did it snow last night. Um, I would like it. I would like it to um, have a recording uh, based on, you know, if, if a car drove up, that it would start recording mm -hmm. um, and have more than just 30 seconds or, you know, sure. I don't, I, I don't want to get a SIM, I, don't, I can't, you don't step out and get a SIM chip out of it. And I also want them to be, um, I don't want to hardwire it. So I'm thinking of putting the solar uh, re recharge panel. Okay. And then what it. about having Wi-Fi access? Do they all have Wi-Fi access? Yeah, there's access, there's Wi-Fi uh, in, installed in the home. Um, it's a WISP. Um, okay. That's good. All system. Right. Okay. And, and, got, and, so. and so, so how many cameras do you think you need? Probably two uh, near the same point. One, you know, because if I can get them to have a, you know, a, a greater than 180 mm -hmm. degree pivot, um, two of them will give me probably three sides of the house. You know? All right, then, you know, this is super easy. This is really easy. Well, good. Okay. I thought maybe you would say that. I was um, open for that. <laughs> you know, I, I would just go with a Google Nest camera. Uh, okay. Really super easy to install. They have outdoor and solar. And, uh, and what's nice about them is that you will get notifications when it hears, and you can set all this up, when it, when it hears a sound, uh, up to including okay. when a dog, when it sees a person, uh, okay. when it detects any motion, 
And then it does record up to seven days free. And after that, you may have to pay. But my whole thing is like, you're probably going to know within three or four days if you need the camera anyway. But after that, it's just, it's not very much like 10 bucks a month. And then because this is an Airbnb is that, you know, this is your business and time is money. So we want to make things that are super easy. And then you get, you'll get a notification via text or email and with an exact screenshot. So this way you can see whether or not it's something that you need to act upon. And, and again, you will be able to zoom in to see a license plate, depending upon how far away it is. But that they, they do pan and zoom. Uh, there is also two-way audio so that if you, you see your Airbnb person pull in and they're having trouble opening the front door, that you can say, hey, are you guys having trouble opening the front door? Because I'm here to help. You know, uh, If police are at the front door, you can talk to them. And what, right. what's nice is that um, a friend of mine who owns a big VRB, big Verbo business, he's got 30 plus properties. He actually uses these cameras to figure out if there's a party going on. So he sees how many cars are coming in and he's like, okay, more than three cars, parte, we don't allow that. So, yeah. uh, so just, you know, yeah. just pick up a couple of Nest cameras, super easy to do, super easy to install, and then just go ahead and install them via the app and then you'll be good to go and you'll be monitoring everything. Jim, you need any other help? I'm always here for you. Hey, major thanks for giving me your listening time today. And if a tech question is just gnawing at you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with me. Hop on over to commando.com and hit email Kim. I read every single note. Now, in a digital world, you need to stay up to date. That's why you need my free daily newsletter. You can sign up right now over at getkim.com. That's getkim.com.